Okay, I'll just give you a moment to read the question. And when you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check your work solution against mine, or I'll take you slowly through the solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. So in order to do this, you should be familiar with these formulae for the sum of a geometric series. That's given by Sn, the sum of the first n terms. And you ought to also be familiar with the sum to infinity. That's providing the common ratio r lies between minus 1 and 1. Okay, it's given by a over 1 minus r. And we can use these two formulae in this relationship here. So what we do then is the sum to infinity, that's going to be a all over 1 minus r. So we've therefore got a all over 1 minus r. That's going to be equal to 32 over 31 multiplied by the sum of the first five terms. So we just need to let n equal 5 in here. And so we've got a, a being the first term, multiplied by 1 minus r to the power 5. And that's going to be all divided by 1 minus r. Now I can see that we have a common factor here in both terms, a, so I can divide both sides by a. And also, I can see that if I multiply both sides by 1 minus r, then that 1 minus r is going to cancel with that 1 minus r. So that greatly simplifies it. I'm just left with this 31 in the denominator now. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 31. So we therefore have 31 equals, and then I'm just left with 32 times this bracket. And if I expand that, I'm going to have 32 minus 32 r to the power 5. And now if I rearrange this by adding 32 times r to the power 5 on both sides and subtract 31 from both sides, then I get 32 minus 31 is 1. And divide now by 32, so you're left with r to the power 5 equals 1 over 32. And then I just need to take the fifth root of 1 32nd there. And if I just do that, it won't be plus or minus purely because I've got an odd power here. So I'm taking the fifth root of 1 over 32. And I can see the fifth root of 1 is 1 and the fifth root of 32 is 2. So it follows from here that that common ratio r will be 1 over 2, a half. OK, so I hope you're able to get that. And that brings us now to the end of this question.